dumb vibes is here to entertain you. Augustine Sanzo Mayuba passed down to glory on the 26th of October 2014. His wife, of course, has been living her best life. I mean, it feels like she doesn't even care about the trial that is ongoing. She keeps going out, having fun, enjoying the best and posting on social media. While Senzo Mayuba's direct family, his mother and his brothers and sisters, of course, his direct family, keep working so hard in order to get the real culprit of who took away his life. Things are getting so sad and viewers are very much pissed out already about what Senzo Meiwa's wife is doing and her careless attitude. I'm about to give you some very shocking details about her here. So do well to watch this video right up to the end and uh, make sure you give a thumbs up, like this video, drop a comment and above all subscribe to this YouTube channel. Senzo Meiwa was a South African professional soccer player and a goalkeeper. He played as a goalkeeper and captain for both Orlando Pirates in the Premier Soccer League and the South African national team Bafana Bafana. He actually passed on to glory after an alleged robbery on the 26th of October 2014 at Kelly Kumalo's mother's house. Meiwa was married to Mandi Sankize and they had a daughter together. In his documentary, it was revealed that Senzo had a tendency of cheating on his wife with multiple women and Mandisa knew about this. It is also said that she would always forgive him no matter what he does to her because she loved him so much. But people are very much surprised, is this the love she was preaching? When he started cheating with Kelly Kumalo, it is then that she confronted Kelly and they even had a fight once and took each other to court. She mourned him and also at his funeral, Kelly was not allowed to attend. She was very much a bitter upon everything that Kelly Kumalo has done to her, apart from taking away her husband. I mean, she as well went to the extent of being on the scene at the day that Senzo Meiwa passed on to glory. And most definitely, so many viewers are actually pointing fingers at Kelly for having a hand in his passing on to glory. But why I keep asking myself, is it because immediately after that she became a superstar, a worldwide recognized entertainer that is a typical African mentality. Mandisa has been living her best life. She is busy enjoying life with her daughter and they are always together. Her late husband's trial is very much ongoing as we speak but still yet she is not even attending or talking about it. Who will blame her though? Her husband passed on to glory while he was cheating on her. And funny is that he even passed on to glory at the house of a side chick Kelly Kumalo. Who does that? Imagine you were this lady. Could you actually, you know, still be looking for the culprits behind your husband's passing on to glory? Talk less of actually finding somebody like Kelly Kumalo, who is a worldwide superstar, a multi-millionaire, upon all the recognitions and connections she has. I mean, guys, let's just leave her to rest. She has done a lot already. She endured a lot while Senzo Mayweather was still living. And of course, when he even passed on to glory, she had a lot of trauma. She went through a lot of psychological checks that people couldn't even see some we actually saw and some we couldn't see and it is very much unusual for a celebrity to actually even go through this in South Africa without going to the extent of using you know some beauty using some sangomas or should I say even going to the extent of claiming her own life it's so unfortunate I wish her the very best she's very much young and vibrant she has a bright future ahead of her she has a child to take care of and I really think the best way she can honor Senzo Meiwa is to bring up this daughter in the best of ways exactly as Senzo Meiwa would have loved to. She is doing her very best and trying to actually make the daughter to forget about everything, all the trauma. I really think that right now she doesn't deserve all the public trolls and hatred on social media, but she deserves all love. Anyways, you all tell me in the comment section what you feel about this particular lady. I mean, it's really so unfortunate that she doesn't speak or attend the husband's trial. Wow. I'm going to be replying to each and every of your comments. I love you also dearly. Jam Vibes.